I'm Jan. I'm the design dictator for the Unhosted project, and uh, we love the web, and we want to help you achieve freedom from the web's monopolies. And um, yeah, next slide, please. I'm going to tell you a quick thing about software evolution. Next slide. So basically, uh, software or what we, what we do all the time is we have apps on the top and we have data on the bottom, like your data. Next. Which might be your documents and photos. Next slide. And next slide. And there are multiple applications. So whatever, your word processor, your um, photo editor. Next slide, please. And yeah, that's all on the desktop. So you have your home folder, your my documents, and um, all the different apps. And um, you have your data where you know they are. Um, next slide, please. But yeah, that was on the desktop. Next slide. Uh, now on the web, there basically you have all these package deals of apps and storage. So you have your Google Docs, you have your Facebook, you have your Flickr, and you need to get accounts at each one. You need to put your data there. You give your data away. You license it away, and um, it's a hassle to uh, keep track of all of this. Um, next, please. So yeah, and it's it's hosted, so you you don't even know any anymore where it is. So it's it's not even on your computer anymore. Uh, next, mostly in California. Next. Um, so what we want to do is enable you to to have the um, yeah the the good parts of the web. Next. Um, yeah, but but with the with the with the good parts of your devices as well. So next, all your next. Um, all your devices, which essentially boils down to having a browser where you can access these from. Next. Right, so we propose a better architecture. Next, for the web. Next. In which we <laughs> separate web apps from data storage. So, say you have your, your, um, your web apps, your um, uh, photo editor, your uh, document editor, and, but your data is, is in one place, your home folder for the web, which might be whatever, your CouchDB instance, um, your own cloud, might be even your Dropbox, um, if we get that legacy support running. But basically, next, you go to an application in your browser, then you authenticate with your, um, or you, you uh, via a web finger call, you get to the remote storage next, that gets loaded in, and basically synced all the time while you work on it, next, and gets synced back, and if you leave it, then, um, it's, it's vanishing again, so you can use it on your friend's computer or on the internet cafe. Next. Uh, next. So we call that protocol what we do, or basically all we do is a one page specification for an open protocol we call remote storage. So it's similar to local storage in the browser, um, but remote, so you can use it not only locally, but it basically syncs your local storage to this um, uh, remote storage that you have. Uh, next. So yeah, the technology we use is basically we say um, free software on the web or free, free hosted software for the web is not the solution because it's still hosted on the server that you can't control. So we say JavaScript is awesome because it's always on your client. It always runs on your computer. So the apps are pure JavaScript, next. Uh, they do a web finger call, next, to the storage, and they authenticate via, uh, either via OAuth, next, or we do the sign-in via browser ID, which is developed by Mozilla and is really, really good, which wants to take sign-in basically from now, from the operating system, the user management, from the operating system to the browser, which is great. Next. And cross-origin resource sharing, which is basically, which basically allows the JavaScript app to make cross-origin, cross-domain Ajax calls um, to access the data from the remote storage. Next. Extend time. Thanks, yeah, and get put delete for syncing data, uh, next. And uh, we work on making storage providers compatible like OwnCloud, CouchDB, and eventually Google Drive and uh, WordPress and Dropbox, next. Uh, yeah, that's me on the left. Uh, that's Mikhail on the right. He's our code communist. And in the middle, it's uh, Kenny, who had the original idea. And we are in a small town called Unhost, which is basically our name. Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, there's a question from the chat. Oh, yeah. Will this make the application a lot slower? Um, if, if you're a good coder, no. <laughs> Why should I know? It depends on how good you can code JavaScript. So um, yeah, and uh, next slide. Uh, we're sponsored by uh, your donations and the NLNet Foundation, which is the Dutch Foundation. Next. We also do awesome projects with Terms of Service, didn't read, which is for rating Terms of Service. Next. Then Libre Projects with lists, lists free software web projects. Next. 
and open tabs, which is decentralized transactions. Next. No, nope, no, nope, you're done. The, the address is there. Yeah, we are unhosted everywhere, and thanks. Okay. Thank you.